This episode brought to you by Noble Gold. Check out this new free offer for my viewers. Spring is here, it's time for a dust off. The mower needs sorting, the garden looks wrecked, and the barbecue needs some work. You might enjoy doing these jobs, but if you don't or can't, you're gonna need to pay someone else to do it. And that takes money. Let's face it, putting money aside for a comfortable retirement is the only way you're gonna get out of doing the lawn yourself, right? That way you can visit the kids, hike that trail, or play some golf like all your friends are doing. Noble Gold can help you with that by investing in precious metals along with your other investments. A gold or silver IRA is a great way to do this. And this month, Noble Gold is gifting a genuine, rare Carson City minted Morgan silver dollar with every qualifying IRA or 401k you do. So get in touch with the experts at Noble Gold. You can find that link in the description or pinned comment or call 877-646-646. 5347. That's 877-646-5347. And make sure to tell them Drone Tech Politics sent you. That they would suggest that I'm being racist when he's using white supremacist terminology and he knows that perfectly well. Um, and, and even the idea that he's putting forth that it has something to do with voting rights. It is true that Republicans have this idea that Democrats only want to have immigrants come into this country because they'll vote Democratic. But it, it is such a lack of imagination that you can't even consider the possibility that people actually think that this is good for the country. Uh, it won't be so, uh, so Republican next time yeah. around. In a couple of presidential cycles, you'll be on election night you'll be announcing that we're calling the 38 electoral votes of Texas for the Democratic nominee for president. It's changing, it's gonna become a purple state and then a blue state because of the demographics, because of the population growth of folks from outside of Texas. It is true that Republicans have this idea that Democrats only want to have immigrants come into this country because they'll vote Democratic, but it, it is such a lack of imagination. It's changing, it's gonna become a purple state and then a blue state because of the demographics, because of the population growth of folks from outside of Texas, because of the population growth of folks from outside of Texas. Welcome back everyone, I'm Drone Tech, and if you're still watching, may I request that you hit that like button, subscribe, and click that notification bell while you're at it. Today we're gonna take a look at CNN's most recent attempts to shut down their political and business competition using the tried and true strategy of lobbing word bombs like white supremacist, toxic, and conspiracy theory without a shred of awareness that they're talking about themselves. The Tucker Carlson segment that sent their arms flailing happened last week and focused on the Democrats' intentions to rid themselves of political opposition by flooding the country with millions of illegal immigrants. Now, I know that the left and all the little gatekeepers on Twitter become literally hysterical if you use the term replacement, if you suggest that the Democratic Party is trying to replace the current electorate, the voters now casting ballots, mm. with new people, more obedient voters from the third world. But they become hysterical because that's that's what's happening actually let's just say it that's mm. true so right. this matters on a bunch of different levels but on the most basic level it's a voting rights question in a democracy one person equals one vote if you change the population you dilute the political power of the people who live there now before we look at the facts behind what tucker said there let's look at the response from his weakest business competition that they would suggest that i'm being racist when he's using white supremacist terminology and he knows that perfectly well um and and even the idea that he's putting forth that it has something to do with voting rights it is true that Republicans have this idea that Democrats only want to have immigrants come into this country because they'll vote Democratic. And it, he can't even imagine that there are people who just think that we should have immigrants. There has to be some other nefarious reason. It makes perfect sense. If you bring in millions of people into the country with one party wanting open borders and the other trying to protect those borders as is the government's mandate, then these immigrants come already preferring one party over the other, the one that's offering them money and free stuff. Not to mention the constant fear-mongering and demonization of the opposition party as racist monsters who are out to get anybody with brown skin. Gee, I wonder how they're gonna vote. Powers acts like it's some kind of insane notion that Democrats would want millions of poor people from other countries flooding in so they can be dependent on government and by extension the Democrat party. It's changing, 
it's going to become a purple state and then a blue state because of the demographics, because of the population growth of folks from outside of Texas. There it is right there. He admits that's the goal. Well, listen, we know it's, uh, you know, sort of this feedback loop, right, with the Republican Party, um, the Trumpsters and Fox News. What does it say about the Republican Party and conservatives in general that Carlson is pushing these fringe theories on a mainstream outlet? See what I mean about the lack of self-awareness? Don Lemon comes out of the gate talking about a feedback loop in the Republican Party and at Fox News. From a Democrat Party state media outlet where everybody agrees and no opposing voices are allowed. It's impossible to have opposing voices when you've demonized your opposition as the worst monsters imaginable. Ultimately, all this flailing and hand wringing is all to serve one purpose. The silencing of effective opposition against the Democrat Party and the removal of their business competition in the Democrat state media. It's a very real threat that will eventually trickle down to the average Joe. Before that happens, I'm doing my best to expose it and open in people's eyes. You can support me in that mission by supporting my sponsors or by using one of the links in the description or pinned comment. I'm also on lots of other platforms and you can find all those links in the same place. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you all for tomorrow's video.